Hey everybody, it's Professor Miller. I decided to make a weekly uh, update on lecture and lab to try and help keep you on track via video. All of the information I'm about to tell you is in Blackboard somewhere, but um, sometimes having it in multiple places is helpful. So I'm going to tell you what we're doing in lecture in this video. But I also want to start by saying if you missed um, lab because you were sick or not allowed on campus or whatever the situation was, if you've missed any in-person labs during week one and week two, we are offering makeup labs, but I need you to go sign up for them. The link is with the uh, going to be with this video link. Um, so you go into Google Sheets and sign up for whatever time and day that you can make it. Sign up ahead of time is required. In, a, in addition to your name and which lab teacher you're with, we also need to know which experiment you missed. So the reason you have to sign up is so that we have your supplies ready to go. Okay, so that's an opportunity to catch up if you joined the class late or were sick or whatever the situation is, we're offering um, a chance for you to, to come in and do the experiment that you missed. There's a pre-lab that's due prior to coming in for that experiment, so make sure that you have done that. And it, there are videos in almost every experiment that you should watch before you come in. Um, otherwise, you probably won't finish the experiment. So make sure that you take advantage of that. Okay, so back to lecture. Um, this is for one of my classes. Somebody found one of the um, bonus point uh, hidden options, which is to help monitor the calendar. And they have been gracious enough um, to put in some due dates for what's going on this week. If your class doesn't have any of these in there, that's because nobody has found the Easter egg from your class. And so if you go into the Discord server, I gave a hint this week about where to find it. Highly recommend that you go check out the Discord server. Um, also remember that questions like, what's due tomorrow? Or where do I find XYZ? Can also be addressed to the Discord server and probably your classmates have found it and will answer you before I see it. Okay, so as always, I have office hours Monday morning and also Monday afternoon. So that's a good chance to come and ask questions about Alex or about, um, I don't know, whatever you're stuck on, anything. You can come and talk to me and we'll figure it out. Okay, your Alex assignment is due Wednesday morning before 8 o'clock, but don't wait until Tuesday night. So many of you last week were up doing it at like midnight and you were getting frustrated because you didn't have enough time to digest the information and you didn't have enough time to ask questions. So I really recommend if you haven't started your Alex yet on today, Sunday, you should definitely do it. Okay get started and break it up into chunks so that you get a chance to ask questions. You'll notice I don't have official office hours on Tuesday. You can send me an email, but you can't come and talk to me directly. So it's really a good idea to do your Alex prior to Monday so you can get a chance to come and ask your questions live. It's easier to get them answered that way. The other thing going on this week is we have some responses due for um, our discussion board. Make sure you're going in to do that. Um, and then, of course, depending which class you're in, some of you will meet with me on Wednesday at 8, some of you will meet with me Tuesday at 5, and some of you will meet with me Friday at 125. This week's topic is going to be a pretty big one. It's pretty important. We're going to learn about how to name stuff. So we're, we're starting that new material. Um, you also are going to have, uh, from Wednesday to Saturday, you're going to have an Alex open pie review period. So if you have missed anything, um, this is going to give you a chance. Or even if you did it and didn't really remember it well, Alex will figure that out by doing a knowledge check when you finish this week's objectives. You should complete that because it tells you what you really need to study during the open pie review period. So this is a chance to go back to any objective, any topic that you might not have mastered and get some points for learning it, even if you didn't meet the objective due date. All right, so there's two different due dates in Alex. One is for accomplishing all the topics on time or whatever percentage of topics you get. And the other one is for learning the material at all, at any time. All right, and so if you struggled a little bit with the due dates at first, it's okay. This is your chance to go in and earn those points. All right, so make sure to set aside some time from Wednesday to Saturday where um, you can focus on filling in any gaps that you have. Um, okay, 
So that's Alex. I hope that clears that up. The other thing we have going on right now is um, our atomic timeline project. And this one spans three weeks long. All right. So this is just one of my syllabi. This is for the, um, the class that meets at Friday afternoon. Each class has slightly different due dates, but essentially um, you want to make sure that you have assigned roles to every person in your group. You all agree on who's going to do what for this project by the end of this week, or by actually whatever your lecture day is. So if you're meeting me Tuesday, that's your due date. If you're meeting me Wednesday, that's your due date. Um, this, this doesn't have an assignment to submit. All you're going to do is you're going to go into your group work, and you're going to you're going to open on your discussion board right there, group discussion board, and you're going to post something in there, a new forum you can create with, uh, you know, your second project roles. If you are having difficulty meeting with your group members, please send me an email as a group with whomever has been contacting you and tell me who isn't participating and I will reach out to them for you. This needs to be done before the due date. Some of you were waiting until like the due date had passed and that isn't um, really giving people enough time to jump in. So I'll help if I can, um, but, but you should also be sending out your own email so you can go to your group. You guys won't have this step, but you'll go to your group and you can send an email there as well. People tend to see email faster than they see the discussion board. You can also set up a video chat by going to collaborate. And if you guys arrange a time to come and talk, that's a really good way to decide on who's going to do what for this project. Okay. It's a pretty significant uh, grade for, for you this semester. So it's a really good idea to get going on it early and not wait. Okay. Regarding last week's material, we talked a, a little bit about these items in class, but it's important that you're reading these things before you jump into Alex. And so this, this is your textbook. You should read it. Um, if that's not enough to clarify things for you, I'm happy to make a video if you're confused on a particular topic or a particular kind of problem. All you need to do is screenshot the problem or send me an example, and I am happy to make a video which I will then upload for the class to look at. Odds are, if you're confused on a topic, someone else is too. The other thing to play with this week is to use this FET simulation to learn about how atoms are structured, protons, neutrons, electrons. Um, you can test your knowledge using this game mode, which is fun because you get a little happy face. Um, but definitely practice figuring out how to read isotope notation and also understanding the difference between an ion and a neutral element. Okay. Then the other thing I have here is specifically about how protons were discovered. So this is a really cool simulation as you're working on your periodic timeline to use to understand how Rutherford's model of the atom was different from the plum pudding model of the atom. And so it shows you on a particle level things we can't see. It shows you what happens in both models when you shoot alpha particles at something. All right. And, um, it's a great example of scientific theory and, uh, well, scientific method in use, right? So we thought the plum pudding model was correct, where the electrons um, are negative point charges that are sort of suspended in a positive C. And when we did the experiment, the results did not reflect that. So we had to come up with a new hypothesis, and that turned out to be more correct. That's more like the nucleus we have today. All right, so these are nice simulations to use to, to master those topics. You really need to understand the difference between an ion and um, a molecule in order to be good at naming. And so naming is what we're starting this week. And I'm going to put some videos up a bit earlier so you can start on it. And then when we have class this week, we are going to really, really work hard to learn how to name things. Um, again, when you watch the videos, take notes. Don't just think you're going to absorb it by hearing it. I promise that you won't. Uh, most of us won't. Maybe some of us are gifted. In general, people benefit from the process of writing information down, even if you never look at the notes again. So make sure that you're doing that. All right, so you're going to have homework due Wednesday, just like always, um, for Alex. And then you're going to have your open pie period. Make sure to give yourself time for that. If you are struggling with any topic, let me know what it is, and I'm happy to work with you or to make more videos or both. Okay? Good luck, guys. See you in class.